Hey guys, what's up here? Wait, what? stop, stop, because it's. I need to go higher because of your head. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kane here, and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, we'll be looking at Fear the Walking Dead and the colour grading within it. Now, if you've watched The Walking Dead, you'll know that they don't have the most eye-catching grades, but it does fit the dire world that the characters live in. I do sometimes wonder what The Walking Dead would look like if it was injected with a load of colour. So first off, you want to make sure that you have the colour tab selected on Premiere. That way you can edit colour with ease. Let's start by pushing up the contrast and bringing down the highlights, similar to the Blade Runner tutorial. Next, we want to be pushing up the shadows and compensate by bringing up the whites and pulling the blacks down to keep a little contrast. Now, pull the saturation way back to something that is almost black and white, but you want to be able to see some faint colours. In the creative tab we want to push up the faded film and then bring down the exposure from the midtones. Now that's the look complete. Now it's not bad if you're looking for a horror slash thriller uh, grading. As a bonus I have one more colour grading for you guys and we're looking at the recent episode of Fear which is when we're back at the baseball stadium and there's we're back with the main squad. There's way more colour in the scenes. It's a bit more punchier. They still have the orange sepia kind of misty look in the background, but it has a bit more colour injected into it. So we'll go look at that now. Now, let's create a new adjustment layer. Now we want to punch the temperature up high and compensate with tinting it green. If you pay attention, you'll see a lot of green in the colour. Push up the contrast slightly and bring the highlights back like the previous edit. Increase the shadows and whites and then bring back the blacks slightly. There isn't too much contrast in this grading. Now, bring back the saturation to 70%. In the creative tab, you want to punch the faded film to halfway and then hop into the curves and add some contrast. In the colour wheels, you want to push the mid-tones towards the orange zone. Now, that's the second look complete. You'll probably start to notice that the Lumetri panel is a very powerful grading tool, and if you can get the hang of it, you can start to create some really interesting grades. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button and share with your friends. Subscribe if you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Boosh!